Well, this is not an actual artifact from the 1937 masterpiece Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, by Disney, of course, uh, but it'll start off our video anyway. Here's the actual overall piece that it's from. It was one of many up for auction recently. This is a commemorative piece made later in the next decade in the 40s, and it still was estimated to sell for $10,000, so not a lack of interest in this movie to this day. But now let's get to the artifacts. Check this out. It was really amazing. This is a large sculpture, model, whatever you want to call it. But I'd never seen anything like that in, you know, movie leftovers. It made me think of the kind of figurines and models you would see from the old Star Wars days, the original movies, in the ILM shops. And now back to after-the-fact merchandising. These figures here weren't used in the actual making of the movie. These were made out of rubber, which is why they have that odd look. And they're from 1938 the year after the movie came out. Think about how old that is. So somebody took really good care of these, or they just sat in an attic for, you know, a long, long time. And here's kind of the centerpiece, an actual production cell, which, you know, the people who created these back in the day had no idea anyone would ever care about them. They were just a means to get to making the movie. So just briefly, as far as the impact of the movie itself, think about the fact that it obviously recycled old Germanic folk tales and that Disney is still doing that to this day. Frozen, Tangled, Little Mermaid, you know, you name it. And of course they kind of branched out globally in terms of uh, source material. But talk about a winning formula still going on in the 21st century and arguably started here with uh, Snow White and the Seven Doors. Thanks.